What up boys and welcome back into yet another video. So not too long ago Blizzard confirmed that we would be able to transmog grey and white items in the future. They were unsure of when this would be implemented to the game and now that 925 is out we can see that it didn't come with the patch 925. However, it's definitely going to come uh, in Dragonflight then because it was said that it would come uh, at Dragonflight or before Dragonflight. So there's not that much left. Maybe the pre-patch for Dragonflight. Regardless, there is a lot of gold to be made with this. So when I've made videos about gray and white items, luckily for me, my community has been super nice and they've been uh, giving me suggestions on what to look out for. So if you guys got any suggestions, just hit me up on Discord. I really appreciate it. So this video is going to be about suggested white and gray items from viewers. And if you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you will be notified whenever I upload a video. And you guys can also check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide if you don't own it already. This book, this gold guide has been updated for almost two years now. And I'm going to continue to update it for free. So as long as you buy the book you will receive every single future update for free. So when Dragonflight comes out, I'm updating the book for free for Dragonflight. So it's just a one-time purchase, lifetime of updates. So the first thing we're going to look at is from Peter S. on Discord. And he told me to check out Vix Rack in, uh, in Everlook because he had a lot of uh, weapons. So I went over to Vix Rack, which is located right here in Everlook in Winter Spring. And this bad boy right here has a ton of weapons that are like a gold each, right? So these will definitely easily sell on the auction now. Some of them even have an impressive sell rate right now. Uh, a lot of them aren't worth that much yet because you can't mog it. But buying a war staff for a gold, it even has a reach in sales rate of a thousand gold each. And a very, very good uh, sell rate to be a, a transmog item. And that is even before you can mog it right so not only this dude but like on the other side of this building you have two npcs one selling heavy armor like full sets i mean i'm not claiming that these sets look good by no means uh but people would still want to buy them like they need to collect absolutely everything so you should definitely get these and throw them up on the auction house and then you have the light armor merchant uh, right next to him and I was fascinated about this hat, because if you guys have done transmog before, you will know that hats like this, they always sell. And this pink one is really cool. So this hat specifically, super excited about that one. Even though I do think it's worth to buy like the entire sets and sell it, because uh, they don't look that bad. But some people will make some really cool mogs using these items, and... It's a very small investment to make in order to try and sell these. And then you just restock them whenever they sell, right? Besides from these vendors right here, uh, we, have, um, we have more than this. But first, I want to talk about a suggestion made by, by Phoenix, which told us uh, to check out these... Well, he told me to check out these items right here. This is a list of items that I personally don't think is worth farming for these because... The majority of these items can drop from like a huge variety of mobs, but they have a thing in common. They don't share the appearance with any other items, right? Or, like he says, the alternative is alliance-only quests, right? And it's not even sure if the appearance works for Horde. So these are your typical items. I've browsed the auction house that you can buy for a couple of gold each. They're almost for free up on the auction house. So... Uh, I'm going to link this um, this list of items down below so you can at least go and check it out on your auction house to see if someone is before you or if it's worth investing into these items uh, right here. And then besides from, uh, from these items right here, I want to show you guys one more item. Uh, this one from uh, Peter S on Discord. And uh, he basically told me to go and check out these bad boys right here. The knitted sandals. Everyone knows sandals of all sorts always sells. And these uh, can be sold in every single major city in the game. Like Horde and Alliance. Well, not everyone, but in a bunch of them, right? Like Undercity, Thunderbluff, Darnassus. Like there's a lot of vendors selling these. Um, and they do share the same model as other items. However... There were different uh, different colors on them, so people would have to get one of each. 
And these vendors, once you're there to buy the sandals, they also sell other items that's worth looking into and investing in. I say investing in, but like they're almost for free, like a couple of silver each. But it's worth to make a bank with common and gray items and just track the sales and restock whenever it sells. So I'm definitely going to get these on my common transmog selling tune. Uh, but that was pretty much it for today's video. So big thank you once again to the suggestions. If you guys got any other suggestions, hit me up on Discord. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will see all of you guys back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.